Hey, if you found this on YouTube, I'm Johnny Mac. I host an audio podcast called Daily Comedy News. What you're about to hear is the audio version of the podcast. Saturdays in December, I've been reviewing season 15 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia this week, episodes five and six. The gang's in Dublin, where Dennis ends up helping Frank with some of his business's dirty work. Mac and Charlie learn about their Irish heritage. Dee returns to the set of an Irish soap opera, where she will play an obnoxious American milf. Let me just start with, it happens almost immediately in the episode. I have floated the theory... That this season is apocryphal. I know it's a sitcom. I know the logic of it doesn't matter. But did you see Dee get hit by the car? She went flying. I don't think the injury as portrayed in the episode matches the extent to which she was hit by a car. Going back to the first episode, was the gang really involved with every important event in 2020? I don't think so. So this whole season might just, you know, be like Bobby Ewing in the shower? I don't know. I'm overthinking a sitcom. I was on the Reddit. The fans there really like these two episodes. I liked episode six a lot more than episode five. The Reddit thought these two episodes, I'll talk about episode six in a couple minutes. The Reddit folks thought these two were the best of the season. I think six was up there for the best of the season, but I really liked last week's pair more than um, episode five anyway. I'm cribbing here off the AV Club's recap. They wrote, the gang goes to Ireland as season 15 hits its stride. Now, I was worried that taking the show to Ireland would mess things up. It really worked just fine. I also thought it was funny that every bar that they hang out with looks kind of like Patty's Pub. And in reality, it's probably just a redress of the existing set. But they did a good job with that. It just feels the same, even though they're ostensibly in Ireland. Of note, this two-parter was written by Rob McElhenney, Charlie Day, and Glenn Howerton. Some of the weaker episodes, Glenn stepped out on the writing, and I think it shows. So it's good to see Glenn back in there. Some edgy humor. Frank, as it turns out, has been the number one beverage supplier to Jeffrey Epstein, leading to his frenzied efforts to destroy all evidence of his association with the late Jeffrey Epstein. Frank says 95% of what went down on there was not pedophilia, which was a great joke. AV Club writes, I can totally buy both that Frank would want no part of the whole pedophilia thing and that he'd happily make a ton of money selling booze to and splashing around with the rich and powerful people who very much did. The AV Club uh, talked about Dee's appearance on the Irish sitcom and she gets her role stolen by the vacationing waitress. And the AV Club writes in the least elegant plot twist of the two episodes. Yeah, just shoehorning the waitress in there didn't work at all. We start to suspect that Dennis may have COVID. He has lost his sense of smell. We saw more of Dennis's psychopathic tendencies, a favorite topic of mine. Approaching a redheaded Irish bartender, Dennis leaps right into dead-eyed fury once his covid numb nose cannot smell the pure scent he'd imagined on a true Irish ginger. Mac is all proud that he's Irish, but we find out that he's not Irish. We find out that Mac's entire self-styled identity as the Irish badass bouncer of a pub named Paddy's is all a careless lie cooked up by his criminal father. His father, Luther McDonald, apparently that's not his real last name. His real name is Vandros, making the joke that his father's name is Luther Vandros. And I guess that makes Ronald Mac McDonald Ronald Vandros. Ranting to the guys he doesn't know who he is anymore, the episode gives Dennis the chance to finally say, identity doesn't have to factor into absolutely every decision you make. But for Mac, identity is all he has. Ass kicker, Irish, Catholic, gay. The joke has never been whether Mac was or was not those things, but how desperately he's thrown himself into various roles in a quest for self-validation. Mac heads to the seminary. He wants to become a priest, telling a priest, I only want one man inside of me. Mac's Irishness stripped from him and his homosexuality proving as unfulfilling as his early series womanizing. Catholicism is now first, and therefore he hurls himself right into the priestly study with an inappropriately hunky seminarian. But I guess now we're on to the second episode. This is a two-parter. Episode 6, the gang still in Ireland. Dennis and Dee explore their new accommodations in the countryside. Frank accompanies Charlie to find out the truth about Charlie's Irish childhood pen pal. Mac has an identity crisis and decides to join the seminary. So we meet Shelley Kelly, played by the great Calmini. And long story short, we find out that Shelley Kelly is Charlie's dad. And here we finally see some character growth for Charlie. Charlie and his dad really hit it off. And Charlie starts getting less weird. Frank continues to be weird. And Charlie just kind of feels all grown up now and doesn't want to deal with Frank being weird. Shelly the dad takes Charlie and Frank back to his cottage where the gang's going to stay over. 
Shelly's taken aback at Frank's assertion that Frank and Charlie will share a single cot in the living room, and so is Charlie. Shelly heads off to bed. Charlie yells out, good night, Dad. We see Frank alone on the cot. The episode ends with Frank lonely, and he says, good night, Charlie, to a now empty room. Isn't that sad? We also had a side plot where Dennis seemed even more psychotic as he was trying to fall asleep under the influence of COVID. Is that a thing? Did I phrase that right? Anyway, he starts to be delirious and seems extra creepy, freaking out D. He wants to go to the hospital. Her phone is dead. And he tells her, go to the old bell tower and ring the goddamn bell, you bitch. We also learn in the episodes that the gang is vaccinated, except Dennis. Dennis is not vaccinated. So two pretty good episodes there. I liked the Charlie plots and I liked the Mac plots. The D stuff didn't do it for me. That seems to be a recurring theme with me. Um, I'm a big fan of Dennis plots, but the Dennis plots didn't work in this one either. But really excited to see what they do with the Charlie character. It would be fun to see him grow up and mature a little bit. And you can never get enough of Mac. Episode 5, The Gang Goes to Ireland. It's a solid B. Episode 6, The Gang's Still in Ireland. B+. Plus. Follow the show on Pandora, Spotify, Good Pods, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your shows. See you then.